Well, no sport likes to see its superstar falter. Golf is no different, but that's not keeping one retailer from opening stores. Tiger at the top of the leaderboard or not. Michelle Steele joins us now with more on the story. Michelle? All right, no Tiger, no problem, maybe, Mark. Now, the ratings uh, show the most dramatic drop-off in golf interest since Tiger's game has seemingly uh, vanished into thin air. Six and a half million people watching the PGA Championship last weekend. Not too shabby, but you know what? Off 35% compared to last year's PGA Championship when Y.E. Yang upset Woods on the final day of the tournament. Now, I interviewed Golfsmith CEO Marty Hanica recently. He says there's been a Tiger effect at the retail level as well. Well, the Tiger effect has been negative this year. We're down 7.5% in units on Tiger branded product. Uh, that's not equipment or balls. It's really apparel and a, the premium platinum collection from Nike. But year-to-date sales at Golfsmith have been up 11%, where publicity generated from a free driver uh, offer associated with their, this year's Masters and free rounds of golf and free lessons with other purchases have driven sales, all leading Hanukkah to feel confident enough to shift strategies. We're moving cautiously from defense to offense. We, we've opened four stores the last 12 months, and we're opening another one in November. So we're opening new stores, and a lot of people are closing, and that's a phenomenon you're not seeing in our, our space right now. Now, Mark, uh, Golfsmith told me that they plan to offer 14 stores over the next two years, bringing the total number of stores to 90. Remember, Dick Sporting Goods said just yesterday they plan on closing 12 of their 91 Golf Galaxy stores, Mark. Michelle, perhaps no other sport in recent memories had a boom period so closely associated with a superstar. What, what makes Anaka so confident? Yeah, big question. Well, the true growth periods for many sports have often involved just one athlete who transcends uh, the game. You know, think about Michael Jordan in the 90s with basketball or Tiger soon after. Clearly, as good as Mickelson is, he hasn't been able to take that number one position, and neither is anyone else, quite frankly. There is no alpha dog anymore in golf. Now, Hanukkah says his company is not focused on Tiger or any one star as much as it is on the customer experience. You know, custom-fitting clubs, taking swing measurements, that kind of thing, really boosting the interactivity component there. But whether another golfer will take the place of Tiger remains to be seen and may never happen. Uh, Hanukkah says he's watching Northern Irish golfer Rory McIlroy, who's never won a major, but has started uh, to talk a little trash about Tiger's game, and we might see a McElroy Tiger matchup in the Ryder Cup later this year. We'll see. Mark, yeah, back over the to you. little trash. Wow. Yeah. People <laughs> aren't of, afraid. Yeah, of course. He's 21. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Michelle Steele, thanks so much.